I will derive the rate law for reversible reactions. So we're looking at two elementary reaction steps from A to B with a reaction rate constant in case of A and from B to A with a reaction rate constant in case of B. And uh, the change of the concentration of A with time is equal to negative K times A. This is because A is consumed in the forward reaction. Plus KB times B, there's a positive sign here because A is produced in the reverse elementary reaction step. Similarly, we have the expression for dB over dt. And if we sum up these two equations, we find that the sum of A and B never changes with time. And we know that uh, A plus B is equal to a constant. Assuming there's no B in the reaction system at the beginning, and then A plus B is equal to A naught. And then we can rewrite B as just A naught minus A. Or we can simply say A equals A naught minus B. And we can plug in this equation to here, or we can use this equation here. So either way, we will be able to solve a differential equation that contains only two variables. One is time, the other is either the concentration of A or the concentration of B. So I'm going to use uh, this equation to get the expression for B which means how B changes time. So again, uh, A is A naught minus B. A naught is the initial concentration of A This A is A naught minus B, and then we have another minus sign, KB times B. Again, we have two variables here, time and the concentration of B, two different variables here. We must separate the two variables first. First, some cleaning up. I'm doing this times this, then minus Ka plus Kb okay, times B. Uh, now I'm going to multiply both sides by dt. And divide both sides by this very long expression here. And then we will integrate both sides. I'm using this t as the upper limit of the integral. Therefore, I need to change this t to a different symbol, t prime. This part is easy. This part is a bit more complicated. But if you look at this, you're actually just looking at the integral of the reciprocal of a constant times b, roughly. So I'm going to work on this. I will multiply the top by
by k plus kb here and I'm gonna multiply the right hand side by the same thing okay and I will set variable z be b the contrary of b times k plus kb therefore we have dz on top on the bottom we have uh, z minus k a a naught this is a constant and I switched this to, therefore, there has to be a negative sign here. It's equal to Ka plus Kb times T. And we'll just uh, integrate this part. This part is simply the natural logarithm of Z minus Ka naught. So I will have to uh, erase part of the derivation. Okay, I will erase this part. Minus K A A naught. This integral here with a negative sign here is from time zero to time t. It's equal to K A plus K B times t. At time zero, we have z equals zero. So again, we look at the definition of z. Z is the concentration of b times k plus kb. So at time zero, z is zero. All right. All right. So I will have to erase this part as well. Again, we're plugging this uh, z here. It's concentration on b at time t times ka plus kb. So this is the value of z at time t. Uh, the expression of z at time t here. Minus ka a naught on top. On the bottom, we plug in z equals zero, so it's going to be negative ka a naught uh, is equal to ka a plus kb. We are almost done. I'm going to change this negative sign to plus sign, and I'm going to multiply both sides by negative one, and I'm going to erase e to the power of the left hand side is equal to e to the power of the uh, right hand side and then we have this the concentration on b at time t Uh, just a little bit more algebra here. So we're going to use this, multiply by this, and then move this to the right hand side, and then multiply both sides by negative 1. And then we have the concentration of B 
at any given time t is equal to k plus kb on the bottom, k a times a naught on top, then we have 1 minus e to the power of negative k a plus k b t. How about a? Concentration of A at any given time T is simply A naught minus the concentration of B at time T. Um, we can verify this for T equals zero case and T equals infinity case. When T is equal to zero, we plug in zero here. One minus one is zero, B at times zero is zero. Good. When t is equal to infinity, a and b reach equilibrium, and we plug in infinity here, e to the power of negative infinity is zero, and then you have b at time t equals infinity is ka times a naught ka plus kb. All right, and then we can get the conjugate of A as well. So I will erase this at T equals infinity. That means equilibrium. B, I'm gonna copy this here. Ka over Ka plus Kb times a naught. And a is equal to a naught minus b, so a a plus kb a naught. We do know this equilibrium constant of concentration is B EQ over A EQ and we just plug in this here and plug in this here this is equal to the forward reaction rate constant divided by the reverse reaction rate constant and we do a cross multiplication and we can see that K times A EQ that's the forward reaction rate this is equal to KB times BEQ, which is the reverse reaction rate. At equilibrium, the forward reaction rate is equal to the reverse reaction rate. So, it's all good.